What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some new moments. We got some market talk for you guys. I'm so hyped to be back, bro. Just got home from a little three day vacation. And uh, yeah, guys, so today. We're going to talk about um, <clears throat> the market, man. It's so happy to talk about the live market talk. Also, thank you guys so much for the support of my pre-recorded videos, man. Like, literally means so much. As per usual, 20,000 MT in the comments for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. So now, yeah, um, last night, I saw some crazy stuff. The market was at its all-time peak last night. Decided to sell some stuff. I have a lot of other things to sell. Starting to complete these spotlight challenges. I'm stuck on the Iggy challenges for five steals. That cr it's it's crazy how hard it is. That's number one. Um, but last night we sold the Spencer Dinwiddie. We got him for 15k. We're selling him for 35. The diamond filter has been so money over the last couple days. And with these new moments, I guarantee you it'll be even more money. So, with that said, we're gonna talk about the market. And if you guys don't know, they did drop moments. It is not moments of the week. So don't ask why. I don't know. It's like what is going on. But uh, yeah, before we get into some market talk, we'll pop like two, two to three packs. I heard they're popping. Logic looks pretty much pulls everything and we're just out here pulling nothing. There's a ruby, probably a bomb, bro. Come on. I haven't pulled anything in packs in who knows how long. Like I am begging for a pull, like literally begging, bro. So, oh wow, we got a bronze and a sapphire, bro. My pack luck is literally so embarrassing to the community. It's literally an embarrassment. Um, but yeah, I'm so hyped to get in this market talk. One more pack for the boys. Here we go. Gold. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, man. Don't pop packs, guys. Don't don't waste your MT, your hard-earned MT on these terrible packs. We'll pop one more for the culture, though. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. It's classic. It's classic. We're not pulling anything. You know, it's nothing new. and It's nothing new. So... With that being said, 20k down. Let's get into some auctions. So first off, let's check out Brandon Ingr Ingram's price. Um, personally, I heard his, de his card's decent. He doesn't have anything really flashy, but he is a big diamond, so he's gonna have crazy scoring. Um, let's check his bot. Let's check his price. He's going for around 210. Realistically, he's not. Um, good card to snipe. 99 offense, 99 defense. Ah, pretty solid steal. Oh, his defense is grody. Terrible card. This Donovan Mitchell, though, is so usable. And honestly, I might have to pick him up. He's going to be way cheaper than his other diamond. That's what's that's what's fire about it. Um, really liking this card, man. Really liking this card with those that defense and those gold clamps. Pretty solid card. He's probably going to be way under 100K. And uh, yeah, man, I'm super hyped. Super, super, super hyped. The other one is not really going to drop because it is in the pick down Levine set. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the market. Let's see how crash it is. Let's see if it's crashed at all. I honestly don't think it is, but we'll check. Um, today might be a really good day to pick up Ami 20s because once again, like I said, kids are going to put up cards for cheap today. It is moments. Kids are popping packs. Amethyst 20s are pulling out of them. And also, if you guys don't notice, we got my collection way up there to Amethyst. I've been grinding. That's why I am a little low on MT right now. I probably bought like freaking 300 cards. Um, just to fill up those collections. We got to do the tokens. We have 900 tokens stacked up for that token market. Super hyped. I'm super hyped. We gained like 350 tokens. We completed a ton of sets. We're on the roll, man. This token market update is going to stack the hell out of my team. Like literally stack. Today's a good day to snipe silvers as well. But you know what, guys? It's time to get into it. So right now, what I would be doing and what has been working for me for days now diamond filter method who did i buy to I, I i all i bought in this filter was tony allen um i bought that's a good price that's a, I'm, I'm picking up all these guys i don't care they're all getting bought out just because of the fact i know for a fact he'll go up to at least 28k 110 percent. so i'm getting him i'm gonna make some profit off him just drop that much bread on call kuzma i know he'll go up he will not be that cheap forever so right now this filter has been so cheap like i mean i've been getting snipes i probably made like freaking 100k over the last like hour of sniping um it's it's literally insane i don't know what but this is what i bought to enable this filter i bought wilkes i bought jerry west i bought tony allen and i bought earl monroe those are the people you want to buy to enable this filter and make it fire um 
what's it called? I think it was Friday night or Saturday night. It was Friday night, bro. The snipes were insanity, bro. Like, I mean, crazy snipes. Um, snipes back to back to back. I was getting a ton of friggin' moments cards. Jaron Jackson Jr. for 20K. It was so fire. I just hope you guys do try to snipe out cards. Now, today, market may crash a tiny, tiny bit. I'm not sure if it will a lot, but if it does, I'll keep you updated. Right now, it doesn't look like it is. Um, I sold my Kobe because he was going for crazy amounts of prices. Let's see if he did drop a little bit. I sold mine for 99k yesterday. He's at a 94k. He'll drop. Now it is Chinese New Year this week. They could have a Chinese New Year promo. I probably will be selling a ton of my cards. I do have Pink Diamond Hakeem. And with that being said, um, he's probably gonna go up in value. People are are gonna try to do the spotlight challenges. Um, I'm still stuck in this Iggy one. Supposedly got an Evo him to Ruby. So this is what I have done. I have my boy Richard Jefferson done. I have these two left, man. We're going to get these done. We're getting Opal Roy. We're going to be the first person in the world to get them. I will be grinding on Friday like a complete nerd to get that done. I'm going to have everything sold. I'm going to be ready to roll. We're going to get this card. But um, I'm just like, I'm like super hype, bro. Like I, I can't wait to get Rick Barry and Blake. And right now, this is what I would be doing on the market. So honestly, I would sell everything you have. Honestly. We're going to see something crazy this week. Token market, all that good stuff. And if you guys didn't know, uh, a new method of mine is selling your whole team right before... Um, what's it called? Sell your whole team right before the tournament because like an hour before the tournament, Hakeem was going for 270, bro. I was like, wow, I should have sold him then. I didn't. He's at, I got 220, which is still fine. If you have Kristaps, I would recommend selling him. He's kind of expensive, but he is for the set, so I'm not sure... But honestly, if I had him, I would probably sell him. But I do want to get him, try to get some gameplay with him. He's so filthy. He's the zinger. And um, hold on. Let's talk about Marcus Smart. Let's talk about these moments cards. So right now, one moments card that you might want to stock up on is a new Sabonis. Because his stats are actually really freaking good. Um, let's see. Are they in here? What What is this? Di it's Diamond Moments. Um, the Sabonis is really, really, really good stats. He's a very good card to stack up on. All your Trisha Thompson that you stacked up on, congratulations, because they're actually very valuable. Um, let's see. I think these cards are in moments. I'm not totally sure what is going on, though. So they're not in moments. So if they're not in moments, then what are they in? It's not moments of the week 12. What is this? So I guess you have to look up by player. If you guys know what it is, let me know. These are gone in two days. Is that is that isn't that weird? So there's no moments in a week. This is gone in two days. This is gone in three days. I don't know what their plan is, but I'm confused. All I was going to say right now, I'm going to say two things. Stay on Amethyst Filter. That is one. Stay on the Dying Filter. That is really it. I, it's literally all I'm going to say. It's been so money. And bro, right now, if you want to stack up on some of the other moments, they're gone in two days. That's why I picked up all those Kuzmas. They're not gone in two days. They're gone in two hours. So I will be sitting here. I will be grinding. I will be sniping all day. I'm ready to roll. And honestly, with this filter's mad money. I would probably pick up those Tristan Thompsons. You could sell them for 3K later on. Make quick MT. But honestly, I'm look at that Dinwiddie. Thank God that sold. We got four Kuzma stacked up. And um, like I mean, you could you could pick them up. I'm not saying you have to. You're gonna call me a bot for picking them up, but you'll see. I'm gonna make a solid 5K off each of them. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to pick up these Tristans too because I have a ton of them stacked. He's going to go for at least 3K. I'm going to make probably around 1,000 off each of them. Just trust the process. Stack them on a ton of Amethyst. And I want to check out some bonuses price because this guy is going to be such a good card to snipe all day. I mean, this card is going to probably make you thousands of MT. Since he is an Amethyst, bro, he's this cheap. I mean, he's so... He, he's like I'm just going to look at his stats. I know they're fire. He's, he's just an offensive god. A bunch of ballers are going to use him. He's a solid four. I mean, a solid four. Defense is definitely not that good, but offensively, complete stud. I can't even imagine how good his release is. But yeah, I will be sticking around on this filter for a very long time. Um, hopefully, he doesn't drop under 4K. I don't think he will. He is limited time, like I said. So if you try to get him for 5K and under, I respect it. He's a very good card. He's a hype beast card. You guys would definitely want to pick him up. And yeah, pretty much that's all I got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. We're going to have another video after this. Honestly, I'm feeling some Sabonis gameplay, not going to lie. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope my methods did help you out. 
And uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Hope you have a good one. Peace.